Yeah, I just catched a rock. <laughs> Welcome in, Clockwork. What kind of rock did you uh, catch? Uh, the Lampant Jirachi looks really cool. I'm very impressed with this fusion. I wonder what it'll look like when it's Chandelure. Um, do we want to fuse anything else while we're here? I kind of want to make a Rotom something. And we got a few Salamence with something as well. It's level 50. Just a rock. It's not a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I hope your new pet rock serves you well. <laughs> How you doing today? Uh, let's fuse Rotom. We'll just use regular DNA splicers. Uh, let's fuse Rotom with... Oh, I have a Weepin' Bell already. I shouldn't have caught that Victory Bell. Um... Yeah, let's do Stantler. Oh, there's no custom? Never mind. Um... What about Krabby? There is a custom for Krabby. <laughs> <laughs> Crabtum. <laughs> I like it. The Plasma Crab Pokemon. Crabtum live in holes dug into beaches. It is known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreck havoc. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. We'll keep Levitate. Why not? Wait, my rock is evolving into another rock. It became <laughs> Twain Johnson. <laughs> I feel like if you fused two rocks together, that is what you would get. Rock plus rock equals the rock. <laughs> All right. Salamence. What are we fusing with Salamence? Maybe Sand Slash? Does this have a custom? It does. Ooh, it looks cool. Let's do it. Dragon Ground. The joy. Look at this awesome fusion. I would have not I would have never guessed this was mixed with Sand Slash. I would have saw Salamence for sure. Sala Slash. That looks really cool. Look at that thing. The mouse dragon Pokemon. After many long years, its cellular structure underwent a sudden mutation to grow wings. It also curls up to prevent heat stroke during the daytime. <laughs> uh, intimidate, please. I'll trade my rock for your <laughs> doggy. <laughs> um, let's raise special defense. Ah, uh, no, no, we'll raise defense. That's fine. That is such a cool looking fusion. It's very cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick up this Victory Bell. We're going to do some super uh, premium wonder trades to see if I can find... Uh, if I can find, hopefully I can, a uh, Vulpix fusion we can get a Vulpix from. Yeah, 
That's fine. We're not far. The dog me- oh, Doge. Oh, I get what you mean. Well, isn't that- isn't it contested? Like, it, it's it's supposed to be pronounced doggy, but it looks like it's uh, pronounced doge. I've never really um, looked too far into the uh, pronunciation of that. And we have the victory bell, right? Yes. Persian coughing. Interesting. I actually quite like this design. This name is Microsoft. Now, obviously, these are all just randomly generated, including the names. Uh, Philip is sending us Spooky Boy. <laughs> Ma Magnemite Stunfisk. <laughs> Alright, we've got one more Wonder Trade ticket here. Come on, give me a Vulpix, please. And I already know you have to breed the fusion you get from the Wonder Trade in order to unfuse them. Helen sends us nothing. Magna Drill. Lots of uh, Magna mites and magnetons in here. That's fine. I'm wondering, though, um, if I should set up a new... Well, not necessarily a new team, but move some people around because we're going to be looking for... Someone who can help us with ground type Pokemon, but I think what I would like to do is see if we can go get Articuno and Zapdos really, excuse me, really quick. So why don't we do that? Um, let's see. We are going to move. Medley off just briefly. Who has fly or teleport? I thought someone had teleport in here. I guess not. Maybe it's in here somewhere. If I don't have to teach it to a new Pokemon, I don't want to. Here you go. Axtrum has teleport. Oh yeah, it does let me go over to Golden Run now. Excuse me. I think we might only have time for getting Zapdos, but we'll find out, I guess. Slatar. 
Slacking Tyranitar actually sounds pretty um, formidable. The TM for Earthquake, yes, please. It's been here the whole time in this randomizer. <laughs> this is a game changer right here. It really is. Uh, Stalfo, well, mm, Earth Power may actually be better on on um, on you for this, right? Oh wait, are you? No, you're not a special attacker. Never mind. Earthquake, yes, please. On Discord, I end my turn. Oh, did you send me something? Let me take a quick look. I place my homie in the tucked-in position and end my turn. I <laughs> I've seen that meme before. It's a really good one. <laughs> Alright, Lizalfos, you need this too, please. Dig has been fine. Uh, I am so happy to have Earthquake now, though. I really should go through the TMs and be like, who needs what moves? And a dive ball. How nice. Would have rather I've gotten something, like, cool, but a dive ball is fine. I need a good Pokemon meme for Discord. Luckily, there's a million. <laughs> Okay, so I think we were able to come in here, but we couldn't open the door that's in here before. Yeah, here we go. Perfect Cell is probably the best Pokemon so far. <laughs> yeah, from that video you shared me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Perfect Cell has Mewtwo energy. Big Mewtwo energy right there. A Douse Drive. That's uh, for Genesect, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Changes uh, Technoblast to a Water-type move on Genesect. <laughs> Poor thing. Okay, down here is where we run into the... Uh uh, higher level Pokemon. Some Rhyhorns instead of Electrodes. Okay. They're not pocket monsters, they're ball monsters. <laughs> so these are all going to be Rhyhorns, I guess. Dual monsters. <laughs> Another Douse Drive? Okay, I, I really wonder what these are actually supposed to have been. Well, it's like, if they're called dual monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! because you duel with them, then Pokemon should technically be called battle monsters because you battle with them. By that logic. Wild Eevee's in here. You know what? I'm going to catch an additional Eevee. Because why not? And we can always make it into a different Eeveelution. Alright, it requires us to actually capture it first.
That time I played Pokemon was the Game Boy where I had to battle the boss of Team Rocket. Oh, you mean like the last time you ever played a Pokemon game? Well, that could be one of several Pokemon games, and I'm not even joking. Um, there's obviously the original red and blue and technically red and green version. There's yellow version, fire red and leaf green, and also um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee version. You fight the boss of Team Rocket specifically. I guess technically in a way also you fight the boss of Team Rocket in gold and silver crystal version. It's just not Giovanni specifically. Nah, no, the last old Pokemon. That there, there are so many old Pokemon games. <laughs> you, you think you're being specific, Clockwork. But unfortunately, you're not. <laughs> Pokemon is a series that's what almost thirty years old. If if you just want to say like you're talking about the original games, then that that's as old as you get, really. You feel like Cell. <laughs> Why is this Eevee so hard to capture right now? The ball monsters. Alright, if it doesn't get caught in the next Pokeball I throw- Thank you. You wasted so much money in terms of Pokeball, Eevee. So much. I think I'm ready to get back into fighting food. Uh, fighting food on. Oh, that's a uh, that's an anime, right? I think I've heard of that, but I it doesn't. It's one of those things where it sounds familiar, but I don't know. Tell me about it. Maybe it'll jog my memory about stuff. It's weird. <laughs> Oh, this one is a Dust Noir. Well, we already have a Dust Noir, so I, I don't need to capture it. <laughs> yeah, we don't need it. Uh, I already played Digimon. I can't find another spin of po uh, spin-off Pokemon game. Um, I don't know if you would like it, but I particularly enjoy. Uh, I wouldn't call it a Pokemon spin-off game, but it kind of has a similar vibe to Pokemon games. Uh, call a game called Yokai Watch. Alright, let's get a rappel up. I need to I need to go to a store and buy stuff. Uh is that with boy with a monster tail? Uh no, I don't think. I don't think so. It's um it's Electorb. Electrode Voltorb. Uh, it is. How, how would I describe Yokai Watch? So, Yokai Watch is about. a kid, obviously, who is literally the most normal person in the world. Um, there is nothing exceptional at all about him. And he just happens to come across a, like, uh, like one of those Japanese gumball machines, basically. Um, 
out in the woods uh, near a uh, very big sacred tree. And he opens up the capsule that pops out of it and a ghost comes out. And the ghost is like, oh yeah, I'm a yokai, and uh, here's a watch. Or he gets the watch first, I think. I, I've never seen the actual show, because the, the game follows kind of like the anime a little bit in terms of plot. I just don't remember it all that well. And then a whole bunch of yokai get like expelled from the machine, or they're released out into the world, and you can capture them and fight... Uh, collect them on your team and fight other bad yokai with them and stuff. There was a boy with a monster tail and seeks to cure it and catches monsters to fight his way to seeking cure. Um, curing his curse. Yeah, I don't know specifically what that is. Right, we're finding a bunch of douse drives. What item is this supposed to be? <laughs> it was a demo on PS2, so I don't know what it is. Oh, I have no idea then. Um... Yokai Watch is a 3DS game and it also has had sequels. I don't think it ever even got released. Oh, I, I have no clue then. Very specifically, I have no clue. We already have a Mylotic fusion, though, unfortunately. Eternal Eyes. I don't know what that is either, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I've played a lot of weird, obscure games in my time. Just, unfortunately, I, I don't know what that is. And I don't mean to say, like, that's an obscure game, because I'm sure it isn't. I just mean, like... There are tons of games that I know about that probably a lot of people haven't, which also means there are a lot of games I just don't know about. Alright, so yes, I think what we're going to do, we're going to end once we have the Zapdos. <laughs> it's a Ryode! <laughs> he a round boy! <laughs> Uh, it's a PS1 game played like Final Fantasy Tactics with using puppets as monsters to fight with. That sounds very strange, but also really interesting. <laughs> Send me a, a trailer or something on Discord. I want to see what that game is about. <laughs> Fox used an electric move to charge up the gate. Oh my god, I have to do this a whole bunch of times? Come on. Can I do it at 50 power, please? Two more.
What do you mean you have no power? Gate fully charged. Open gate. Yes, please. Rude. Best opening? I, I honestly can't wait to see it. <laughs> I hope what random BS in my head I'm creating to come up with an idea of what this might be like is uh, outshined by what it actually is. Gotta get our space mail. All right, here it is. Uh, so Moltres was a Salamence. What has Zapdos turned into? Mamoswine, ooh. Very nice. Um, we need to do something with you, though. Alright, perfect health. Good. Let's try a Premier Ball. Let's try a rocket ball for the irony. No, okay. Oh, that one was close though. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should go out to Lizalfos to paralyze you with static. Heavy ball work. There we go. Heavy ball caught the Mamoswine. So Mamoswine, Salamence, and I think what I'll do in between this stream and next stream, um, I will go to where Articuno is, because I'm sure... The Seafoam Island puzzles are just going to be really obnoxious to get through. I'm just going to get there and we will start the next stream, or in case of YouTube, we will start the next episode right at the Articuno. Um, just to save ourselves some time. 